Hey everybody, back in Proverbs chapter 16, looking at verse 7 today. When a man's ways please the Lord, he makes even his enemies to be at peace with him. When a man's ways please the Lord, he makes even his enemies to be at peace with him. We have enemies. We have people that don't much care for us. We have adversaries, right? There's there's that neighbor you have or that employer or that employee that you work with. Uh, there can be people in business, people in government, and, and you know, national enemies, right? From other countries that we have as, as enemies. And it doesn't do anybody good to be constantly battling with each other, right? That's not a good thing. The Bible says, as far as, far as it depends on you, live peaceably with all people. And in fact, we're told to love our enemies. And that's the verse I want to focus on. Jesus told us to love our enemies. And Solomon here tells us that when your ways please the Lord, you cause your enemies to be at peace with you. That means when you walk in wisdom, the way God wants you to walk, you're going to develop a character and an attitude and a reputation that nobody's really going to have any problems with. Now, there's always going to be those that have a problem with the doctrine or with salvation, with grace, right? If you desire to live godly, you will suffer persecution, the word says. But I'm just talking about in generalities here. If you're loving your enemies, what is your enemy going to do? Is he going to hate the person that loves him? If you pray for that person that you're constantly fighting with, are they going to be an adversary to someone who prays for them? When you show kindness to those that are mean to you, they're going to feel a little different about showing meanness to you the next day. This is why Jesus told us in the Sermon on the Mount, bless those who curse you, do good to those who hate you, pray for those who spitefully use you. Because that's going to generate a different atmosphere of relationship between the two of you. And it's so easy to jump down the throat of somebody that you're opposed with. There's going to be political enemies. They voted blue, you voted red, or vice versa, right? And you just can't get along. And you feel like, I've got to take a stand and defeat them and beat them down and own them and whatever it is. The Lord says to love that person. And that when you begin loving somebody that voted for the other team, or you start loving somebody that wants something that you have, or you start loving somebody that you're in competition with, you're going to be at peace with each other. Are you always going to be best friends? Eh, maybe not. Are you going to agree on everything? Maybe not. But you'll at least be at peace with each other. This is similar to what the Bible calls being blameless. It's not that you don't sin. It's just that there's nothing that anybody can hang their accusations on. And you've known this. People can say, I don't much care for that guy, but you know what? He's a good man. Yeah, we're not buddies, but he's a good guy. You can trust him. That's the kind of attitude you ought to be looking for as a believer. Don't feel like you've got to get yours and you've got to get, a, get ahead and beat the other person down and you, you've got to make sure that you're always on top. Who cares about that? Jesus didn't do that. Jesus had all authority, and yet he humbled himself, becoming a servant to us all by dying on the cross. So if your ways please the Lord, you'll make even your enemies to be at peace with you. Try that today. Instead of going in there saying, I'm not going to let them push me around. I'm not going to tell them uh, th that anymore. I'm going to say what's what, and I'm going to get mine. Instead, go in and try loving that person. And don't, don't say, well, I tried it for three days, and it didn't work. No, commit to three years, 30 years. Who knows? However long and see what the Lord brings about in that relationship. Somebody might surprise you one day when you realize that you're no longer an enemy, but you've gained a friend or at least an ally. God bless you all.